Amari, what are your verbs? Sit instead. And Kaden, what are yours? Walk by the still and wait. Very good. Okay. Number two. Write a definition for each. Okay, Ava, what was your word? Full of stress. And what was the? Stressful. Very good, okay. just for turkey. Certain fruits are traditionally served too. Apples are often included in the stuffing that is enjoyed by many at Thanksgiving dinner. Cranberries are often made into a tart relish that pairs well with turkey. Our main idea is throughout the years, those have been used in a variety of ways. This is the supporting details. Though no longer a common practice, a single feather tucked into a hat was once re regularly seen on a man's head. Feathers have been used to fill pillows for good night sleep for surgery. And yeah, there are several facts about turkeys that make them unique to other birds. These are the supporting details. Male turkeys are known as toms, an average four feet in height and 24 pounds in weight. And Female turkey are known as hands, and young turkey are also known as poults. In the wildness, turkeys are will often walk in family groups for miles and search food. This is the main idea. Americans celebrate Thanksgiving in a variety of ways. Many people would not consider Thanksgiving complete without gathering for a large family meal. It's several weeks before Thanksgiving. An unusual hearing is about to take place in the halls of Congress. A buzz fills the room as the members of Congress enter and settle into their seats. For Trevor Turkey, this is an important day. He knows as he prepares to make his case before lawmakers in the nation that he, he has a chance to make history. Cameras flash as he takes his seats. Good morning. Our speaker today is Mr. Trevor Turkey from Turkey Group. You are ready, sir. You may begin. 
Thank you, Senator. I come to you this morning to talk about Thanksgiving. More specifically, about the play of turkeys on the great national holiday. For most citizens, Thanksgiving is time of celebration. For me and my fellow turkeys, and many of whom become the main course on the dinner table across the country. It's sad, sad day indeed. Mr. Turkey, are you proposing that we abolish Thanksgiving? Sounds of shock and dismay fill the room. <gasps> for Thanksgiving meals or hot dogs. Perhaps we should turn Thanksgiving into a dinner barbecue. The sound of giggles fill the hearing room. <laughs> <laughs> order, order, order. The Pilgrims ate a variety of foods on the first Thanksgiving. Corn, fish, and squash, for example. All are delight uh, delicious, as well as Metrius fish is fast would make a fine main course for Thanksgiving. Sir, your proposal could affect other Thanksgiving traditions. For example, what about the stuffing? How will you cook the stuffing? You can cook stuffing in a pan or baking dish. In fact, many recipes today encourage cooking, stuffing, etc. What about gravy? How would we make the gravy? Many of today's gravy mixes taste just as good as homemade, Senator. What about leftovers? No turkey, no turkey sandwiches or turkey soup? Great sandwiches, soups, and salads can be made from leftover fish and vegetables too. In fact, you'll find a number of delicious turkey-free recipes on my website, talkingnoteatingturkey.com. Well, Mr. Turkey, you certainly have thought this through. We'll consider, we'll consider your proposal and let you know when we make a decision. Thank you, Senator. That's what did not want to be eating for Thanksgiving dinner. So, all he did, he, he escaped from the barn where he was in and disguised himself as something so they wouldn't recognize him as, as a turkey and eat him. So, everybody did a different project about something. We did it by so they gave us instructions to do, and all we had to do was follow the questions, answer them, and make our own story like that, like this one, just an example. So that is how we did it. After that, they printed the story. We, well, put a turkey head and the wings there. And that is how we did this creative writing. My Tom Turkey is a lab. My Tom Turkey is a bush. My Tom Turkey is a bush. My Tom Turkey is a farmer. My Tom Turkey is Elvis Presley. My Tom Turkey is uh, invisible. My Tom Turkey is disguised as a storm people. My Tom Turkey is a cat. My ter Tom Turkey is my dad. My Tom Turkey is a driver. My Tom Turkey is a Walmart employee. My Tom Turkey is a race driver. My Tom Turkey is a fox. 
My Tom Turkey is a math teacher. My Tom Turkey is a dark wizard and knows the dark arts for real. My Tom Turkey is a bush. My Tom Turkey is a dog. My Tom Turkey is disguised as a black dog. Underwater world. You wanted to be a unicorn. <laughs> no, can I put that racer on top of my head? Very good. So we will be showing you by video and making an example for a sequence of events. So for this paper crane, you will need paper. Origami paper works the best, but four, A4 works just as well. If you have an A4 piece of paper, you will have to fold it like this. And then cut along this line to make something like this. After you have your square piece of paper, you will need to fold it in half and in a triangle like this. Make sure to line up the edges. After you have that, you will fold it in a triangle again. Also, make sure to line up the edges. Now you will you should have a you should have a pocket and it should go like a triangle. Repeat on the other side. Once you have that, you'll have to open this up and fold it in like this. Repeat on both sides. One. Hi, everybody. One. After you have the kite shaping, you will fold up this. You will fold up this flap and the other side's flap. Now you will. Turn it up, turn it inside out, and you should end up with the fox head. Then you fold up the wings on both sides, then fold the taller 
part to, and then fold the shorter part if you have a shorter part, like a head. After you have it like this, put your hands like this in a U shape and put it here and then fold the wings down like that. Now it should flap like this. Video. Bye, everybody. Bye.